Lorraine and we're the Popex sisters so today's video well as you guys know we love doing vlogs um tips on places that we visited yeah, and like travel kind of yeah travel yeah, tips we like say. Yeah. yeah and at the moment UK we can't really travel so we thought we'd just do tips on places that we have been yeah in the previous years yeah and like stuff that we thought would be useful to you if you've never been yeah and when everything opens up again you can uh, hopefully go. go so yeah we're gonna start off with Marrakesh in... which is in Morocco which yep. is North Africa yes so shall we get into it yeah so let's start off with like entering Marrakesh itself okay we felt as though bringing a pen is like key. I feel like <laughs> yeah. that's, it sounds so like <clears throat> dumb or silly, but it actually will help you in the long run, just keeping a pen in your hand luggage. It's because you've got to like fill out like immigration landing cards um, or whatever they're called, but it's just to kind of say where you'll be staying, for how long. Yeah. Um, so yeah, also maybe have a print out of your hotel's address so that you know what it is so you can yeah, write it down I think we did it and i was like oh, uh, this is the name and then when you land you're, you know you're so like in the holiday mood you kind of forget these things so yeah maybe just print out your booking just so you can scribble it and another thing to be aware of is it's quite a long process leaving isn't it yeah I'd say from the point of when you've got off the plane and then waiting for queues to get through immigration and then you your bag goes through like scanner. another scanner i say it's like two hours yeah um so just bear in mind I know, like, if you make a booking for a restaurant or something yeah but in terms of taxis if you book it beforehand they'll be aware of that because yeah. ours was they like came later because they knew it takes That's you that long it takes yeah and even like entering the airport again when you're coming yeah. back that takes like two or three hours um, that took like three hours i mean you know what? it gives you reassurance because you know it's safe if yeah. that makes any sense. Like, you know that like everything in and out of the country is like... Yeah, because there's a lot of scanners of bags. Yeah. But um, they do tell you that. So I can't remember who we flew with. I want to say EasyJet. Yeah. They were like, when you're leaving Marrakesh, please come three hours before check, yeah. um, the check flight. Because some places, in. they say that and you can get there probably like two hours or yeah, whatever. Yeah, it's really short. not. But in Marrakesh, like I would not play. Yeah. Like, arrive there three or two hours before. But it's a beautiful airport. Like, well, yeah. oh yeah, so we're going to try and include photos Pictures. from our trip. Um, because we didn't actually vlog at the time that we went. Yeah. However, we've got photos, so maybe we'll put one in here so, with yeah. the it's uh, so airport. Pretty. It's so The architecture is so nice. Yeah. So, where where do we recommend you visit when you're there? So, 100% the souks. Mm. They are like, I feel like that's kind of what Marrakesh is known for as yeah, well. I think it's very known. Yeah, there's been even like music videos, stuff there. Yeah. So, they're known for mostly, I think, lanterns, spices, yeah. carpets or rugs, mm -hmm. and oils maybe, yes. I'm going to say. But they're look, some we learned from like speaking to like a market seller, would you call it? The way, which one, the taxi man or the man in no, the... No, the actual man selling the rugs. <laughs> selling the rugs. Yeah. Oh, the one that was like, my friend. Yeah. It's going to look like a Moroccan say. Yeah, he called her Fatima from Casablanca. Casablanca which, Casablanca's another We town thought in... it was a show. We were yeah. like, oh my gosh, she must be like, look like someone off a show. It was actually another <laughs> place like... in Morocco. Yeah. So he just thought she was Moroccan. So yeah, so he told us that a lot of the carpets or rugs that are made there, someone made in the atlas mountains oh, which is also another yeah, spot where you can that. visit and they basically sew these up so it's literally handmade and each like unique and like different parts of the mountain they're, like different colors different patterns which i thought was really like unique it is it i love that cool. yeah. and it's just and what i like about the souks and the markets is they don't really judge you if you don't buy anything they're no. just happy to like chat to you yeah, and find out where you're from and they're like oh like please tell really your friendly. friends that yeah. you enjoyed it here um but yeah we were quite lucky because we ordered on a whim a taxi from our yeah. hotel and then he was like oh where do you want to go and we said we want to go to the souks and he was like oh okay like there's a lot of them which one and we were like oh we don't know so he basically took us because, on a tour yeah um of different areas so he was like now we're gonna go to the spice bit now we're gonna go to like the lanterns like you said yeah. um and there's like a main amazing. there's like a main the the biggest souks and that's where People have like monkeys. And oh like yeah, donkeys. and they like have snakes and stuff. Oh yeah. But we heard something that was like, if they put them on you, you'll probably get charged. Yeah. So like, just be aware, aware like if that. you get an animal. But yeah. I would be screaming. I got a bit um, nervous because I get a bit scared of markets. But everyone was so nice that it just put me at ease. Yeah, hundred percent. I think it's just the the fear like the of animals. I've had this since I was little. Like just went because my mum loves the market. Like whenever yeah. we go anywhere. But I think it's just like 
there's so much going on and in such small like narrow I, yeah. i'm not even claustrophobic i feel like she is a little bit, bit. yeah but anyway in marrakesh it was it was okay yeah i was nervous when we first got there but i was like i'm not getting out of the taxi and I'm then right. it was so much fun and there's some kind of in some of the souks in the main one um there are like rooftop cafes or like yeah. restaurants so sometimes it is worth having a little look on instagram having a look at locations yeah and finding a little spot and then you kind of like have to be a bit of like a tour guide if that makes yeah. any sense should we list some below or maybe yeah ones that we'd recommend yeah. or we could do a separate video if anyone's interested but we have yeah. so many saved on instagram um yeah so, so taxis yeah we kind of just marrakesh, mentioned that yeah we kind of mentioned it but this is like more detail so in marrakesh itself a lot they all look the same so yeah, i think they're either white or yellow, yellow but yeah. they're like the same shape and like you'll just know you'll know yeah, yeah so what we found is they're very inexpensive which is good considering as like in some countries it's like as soon as they hear you're not from that country they like ramp pull up, they ramp the up yeah yeah whereas like with this sometimes you can like negotiate a price before you even go or and like that guy that took us around the markets yeah. he literally was like he asked our permission first he went are you happy yeah. for me to you know keep the meter running and do this and then when we finished we were like oh how much and he was like how much do, do you, you want? want and it ended up being really cheap really like 30 cheap, yeah. pounds yeah and we'd spent the whole day and he'd waited for us so <laughs> yeah and also when we went out to eat at restaurants yeah oh yeah i really like this especially as like female travelers yeah and we just kind of just go us two it was really really reassuring it's like we would ring our the front desk yeah. and be like hi can you book us a taxi they're like yeah yeah sure so we know that it was like a legit taxi we're yeah, not just like yeah, yeah. hailing it from the side of the oh road my God, can you imagine? and then once they came when he was like dropping us off he was like oh what time do you to be picked up and there was a language barrier yeah. but this is how like persistent he was he was literally like no yeah. i'd like to collect you i've dropped you off yeah um and so we're I trying to the figure phone, out i put yeah, the time on, on my phone like, <laughs> and, <laughs> and he was, like, he was okay. like okay and then we went out to eat for like two hours because we were kind of yeah. like telling him like two hours yeah and then he came back and dropped us off home, home and he didn't charge us no, any extra no and i think it was nice because he knew where our hotel was you know sometimes yeah. you go to it's hard to explain what your hotel especially if you've never been to that country before yeah. it's hard to be like oh yeah this is what its <gasps> name is i have a point about that actually so i saw you know before we go somewhere i kind of do research and i saw quite a few people that had booked what are they called is it medina or what oh, are those places yeah, the smaller called hotels. they're like boutique hotels yeah. i'll put it here because i've forgotten the name but i saw quite a few people being like bear in mind when you book them the taxi can only take you so far and you've got to take all your bags and figure it out so yeah. that's just a note but those hotels are so beautiful yeah but yeah you, i but feel like you can't get the taxi to the door yeah with whereas them. like our hotel we can also link that below that was a bit out yeah well, not, it wasn't like say it was out. like 10 minutes yeah same and that was it, really good because it was not like our taxi would take us to the front yeah. of our hotel it wasn't yeah. like we had to keep on walking down some street so yeah So a restaurant that we absolutely have to mention yeah. um, is, is La Trattoria. Yes. Oh my god. So it's Italian. It is. And, it and is I know, like, so what are we like? I know. It's an Italian, but the scenes and like, oh, it looks stunning. We'll include photos. Yeah. Um, but this oh my was, like, god, it's so romantic. Place. Like, yeah. There was like water, as you can see in the photos. Yeah, it looked and roses. Like a pool, but obviously yeah. no one was swimming you can't in, go it. in it. And there was like seat like little seats around it and like tables and oh my gosh guys and the staff was, was so attentive, attentive like to the point where i didn't know that we only had a table for two obviously yeah. and i didn't know where to put my handbag um so i was gonna like put it i don't know they could tell i was struggling yeah they ran over and had like a little thing to put my handbag on i was and they were so attentive they, they gave were. us wine and yeah we probably looked like <laughs> Like uh, 17 years old but uh, like to be fair we i wasn't treat, drinking we were but, treated really well yeah the rain was and oh yeah they were really lovely the food, food was delicious so good yeah i'd 100 recommend going there we've actually got a blog post on this trip yeah. so if you'd prefer to see it like written. yeah written with the photos alongside please check that out but like i said we'll include photos throughout this video yeah. okay so outfits we weren't sure because yeah because we've never been here before we didn't never know been to any anyone uh, that had been here yeah and it, it's obviously an islamic really religious country so we wanted to make sure that we were being respectful yeah um so yeah we were kind of like unsure so we really covered up but 
our advice obviously when we were outside the hotel yeah but our advice is i'd say it's like not as strict as, as, as let's say dubai or abu dhabi yeah um but still i think if you want to feel comfortable um, and be respectful like cover up when you're going yeah. to like the market Suits, yeah i think when you're going for dinner in the taxi you're fine absolutely yeah. fine and when you're around your hotel we were just like wearing whatever we wanted One. yeah um but yeah i'm trying to think where else you would go maybe I mean, if you're going up the mountains, oh, like yeah. for they do quad biking oh, yeah. and stuff like that, you can probably wear what you want ish. Maybe, yeah. But like we said, just maybe be a bit conscious. Yeah. And maybe ask your hotel staff, like what they think, where yeah. you're going. You're like, can I? I definitely wear this? don't think, oh my God, the sun's like making me look so <laughs> I don't think you'll get shouted at or like no. fined or anything like that. But we just thought we'd mention it in case yeah. somebody is wondering. Yeah. Um, but yeah. So also we thought we'd mention a lot of the bars were 21 and over and I feel oh, like this yes. seems like a, quite a common thing in countries outside of Europe. Some even Europe. Europe. Yeah like you know, you know Stockholm's <laughs> 21 and over. Is it? Yeah. But you weren't drinking Twist. when we went so. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah there's some European country. I think it's England that's like 18. But then it's still like Spain yeah. I swear. Spain is 18. Yeah it's hard to know. We we started drinking. But yeah, maybe if you want to drink at a bar Cut, there. Yeah. I make sure it's anyone and over. But if yeah. you just want to go for a holiday, quad bike and all that. It looks like there's younger. some clubs there as well. Amy yeah. wasn't drinking. No. Um so we didn't really go and it was quite a chilled we literally just wanted like a chill holiday. Yeah. So we didn't go out to the club no. but it look I can't remember the name of it, but it looks so good. Yeah, what doesn't look like it was popping. Yeah. So maybe we're, we're gonna, gonna go back. back. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so another <laughs> sorry, um, another place we think you should visit, another two, um, is the YSL Museum, oh, and then the place next to it or in it, yeah, it's called like Jardin Marisol. Oh my god, I think it's so <laughs> it's beautiful, stunning, like, like stunning. <laughs> if like, you want to get like... cool pictures, then maybe yes. there. Oh my god, and if you want to see the history of YSL, yeah, the design also of the brand, there. yeah, um, everyone gets like a photo outside. The, you know where yeah. it's in the gold yeah. um, we'll include a photo but oh my gosh but I think like the museum is more like beiges and like browns whereas like the garden is like blue I've never seen anything like it and I think you just pay I don't think it's too expensive I no. want to say it's like less than 10 pounds English pound yeah and then you get to just walk around at your leisure and you, I think there's tours but you can just walk yourself. yeah and the gardens look so nice I'm a sucker for like nice yeah. scenery um but yeah is this are we done i think so. so so guys we've come to an end of our tips and tricks yeah <laughs> we hope you enjoyed it and it yeah. was useful if you have any more questions or want to hear more about marrakesh we can probably do another video to be honest yeah we were there for like a solid week so i feel like yeah if, we're there, are, pros, but yeah, if there are any questions or we might have forgotten stuff so yeah, yeah please reach out in the comments um or instagram yeah and if there's other locations that you've wanted to go to as well we have other videos of other countries or festivals that give yeah. tips and stuff that we thought so would be helpful for you but yeah thank you for thank watching you. our video bye